Hey guys, my name is Kevin and today I will bring you an update of the Phantom Knight deck profile. I, uh, yeah, my old deck profile isn't viable or isn't uh, really possible to play anymore because Linkross got banned and the uh, lock with the Buster Dragon doesn't work anymore. So I tried to go the old route with the BAs and uh, found out that, I mean, the combo is quite the same. So the end board is the same, just uh, you don't end on the Buster Lock anymore, but you end, for example, on a Dweller or on an Evil Swarm Nightmare. And yeah, I just want to show you the new deck. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it, you can try it. It's I think kind of a sleeper deck. I saw it now like winning three tournaments and it's uh, yeah pretty good. I um, watched those deck profiles too and made my own deck a little bit. Uh, yeah, I made my own deck with the deck profiles uh, out there. Um, yeah, what I didn't like was the 40 card route because yeah, I mean the combo is more consistent, but you can't really win um, the first duel against the meta decks like Virtual World or Dytron if you go second. So I want to play more hand traps into the deck, uh, in the deck, and then uh, yeah. I think we start with the main deck. I hope the camera picks all up because like uh, I'm still here uh, with my girlfriend, but uh, and I just still try to maintain good quality. So uh, yeah, we start with the PKs. We play a little bit lower count of the PKs. We play three torn scales, two boots, two ancient cloaks, and uh, one gloves. This is like um, the set, uh, the the yeah, the setup when you just uh, need to get through the combo. And uh, this one's the best one, and this is the second best. Um, a lot of people play only one of this because uh, you need it just to dump it and then go through the combo. But if you draw it, you can't really end on the whole combo so um, the only way is to discard it with this and then you go like sometimes minus and uh, yeah so you often want to uh, have a second one and for follow-up plays it's also necessary the thing is i don't play livianir uh, or how it's called the sea dragon the um, rank 3 sea dragon i'm not sure how it's called right now um, and when you don't play it you need the second one uh, to yeah, to get a turn three board if your board gets broken but otherwise this, um, the lineup is perfectly fine. Uh, you just need this one to uh, really, if you need an extender, you just to double trap, that's all. Then uh, we play the tour guide engine with the BA engine. So we play tour guide because that's, this is the best one card starter after um, or with this one, with the torn scales. And uh, yeah, we play a three Kagomusha Knight to just chain block it. This is the main reason. This is an extender. This is a chain blocker. This is like the best yeah, extender in this uh, instance, uh, which is in the deck. And uh, we play only three BAs because you don't need more. It's it is not necessary. You just want to get your turn one combo with it. And um, yeah, we play like one of Graf and one of Seer because this made the combo. And if you happen to, uh, or yeah, if you happen to draw one, you just make Glibic and do the whole combo again. The only time when uh, yeah the the combo doesn't work with like this line or yeah it doesn't work with this lineup uh, is when you have libic and seer in hand but this never happened to me at least so yeah i think this is fine and every deck breaks from time to time i guess um yeah then we play the territory combo because if you happen to draw this one um yeah it's kind of a break but um, when you draw this one it makes like your board super insane because you can end on appaloosa and your whole board uh, yeah and this is like when you draw this, it's just this and Kagomusha Knight, for example, um, or you have to discard it for Torn Scales, it's fine too, so you can get rid of it. Uh, then we play the two best dangers, um, both level 3, both do the same. When they get dumped, they special summon itself, or when this gets, gets dumped, you special summon this one, or you draw one card, so it's amazing. And then um, a lot of people play 2 and 2. I just uh, happen to play one of each, uh, each psychic yeah, tracker or um, psychic wielder um, because you don't want to draw two of them and uh, yeah I play the emergency either way because this is like if you draw it as an extender and I never happen to draw both of it and the, um, and the spell so yeah two are fine. But if you want, you can play one more of the tracker because in this deck the tracker is better um, only because of the highest stats. So yeah. 
And then we have to play uh, the Dragoon package because it ends up your board and is your only spell trap negate. So um, yeah, I wanted to have a higher count of cards, um, not only 40 cards, just because of those cards and because of the end traps. Um, yeah. Then uh, we play uh, hand traps. Um, like I thought 10 cards is enough, so we play three Ash Blossoms and three Gammas with a driver and these are the best and most versatile hand traps so i play them and then i just wanted to play a hand trap that is good uh, for my locals i play three nibiru for it because we have a f like every deck which is present and i can't beat with my main deck um, is yeah reliant on more than five summons so i play nibiru uh, if i would go to a bigger tournament i would cut those and play for example droll because uh, i'm most scared of ditron um, i would play draw for uh, draw for them or maybe lancea otherwise um, skullmeister dd crow or um, ghost is also possible but i wouldn't play nibiru for this then we come to the spells we play a lot of one-offs we play the one monster reborn because this is an extender this is a new combo maker you can take uh, enemy monsters with it it's yeah just just amazing it only bricked one time where I drew no monsters which i can use to play and uh, yeah this was the only time but otherwise it's already um, um yeah all time insane the red eyes fusion because for your dragoon combo you have to play it uh, one call by the grave uh, you don't want to get hand trapped and this is like a really good um, card if you go first and you draw it and they have no hand trap even if you can't make your whole board uh, board you can just make this to get for example rid of the benten and they can't really play so yeah only against uh, virtual world this is isn't like that amazing um yeah then we have the e tele like I told you. Then we have the Rota because this hurts like every PK and um, the Kagemusha Knight if you want to uh, chain block the the tour guide. And then we have to play one spell trap uh, removal because uh, we have two Eldritch players and um, you often have like Eldritch variants, so uh, you want to play like the best spell trap removal. Um, yeah, just to get on a high count. And then we have only four traps. We have one of the um, Shade Brigadines and three Fog Blades. Um, PK, and this is like to make your whole board, and this is a ex perfect extender. So, uh, yeah. This is the main deck, 45 cards. You can play 50 when you want to, uh, to implement more hand traps or more extenders. It's up to you. But I like to count, and for me, it worked perfectly fine. I only lost one duel with it since now, and I played like 10 to 50 matches. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty insane. Um, then uh, we'll start off with the Link Spider. Link once, um, the only Link one. You need this to um, combo with this one, or to um, you can also do the combo without Link Spider. But um, this is uh, there for the Nibiru token. If the Nibiru you on the on your fifth sum, they have to because otherwise you can make up a loser. And um, yeah, then you can just make this plus an extender or plus your, for example, Cherubini because often it's like Cherubini and Seer. And then you just summon the Cherubini back, make Link Spider, and then make Berta Anaconda. You at least have a Dragoon or something. Yeah. Then your Cherubini, the most broken card except Bardish, uh, I guess, because this one. Um, is an extender it's um, your combo maker it, it can purpose a lot of things so um, if you have a good hand you don't need to do this to um, get to your combo you can just use this to um, make like safe place and to go to a palooza or um, anything so this is in this instance very good then uh, we have the verte for the dragoon sometimes i wish i would play two because uh, this one yeah got hand trapped a lot of times but uh, yeah it's fine it's like you're going second move you try to out every everything they have and then you make dragoon but uh, often it was like this got hand trapped too then um, they like couldn't play really uh, really well and then i uh, some something like tour or stuff so it's fine but uh, yeah sometimes wish i uh, would play too but i have no uh, space for it then you play the uh, nightmare package phoenix and unicorn the best outs for specific cards so uh, yeah you just play it because you can draw one card and you can get rid of uh, pks in your hand for example and then you just combo off from your grave graveyard this is the reason why they're good um, and sometimes you're left like with a verte and some random monster you can go into unicorn unicorn uh, discard the pk and yeah go on then uh, the last link three is uh, barish 
I don't have to explain this card. It's amazing. <laughs> then uh, Link 4. Uh, the only Link 4 is Appaloosa. I don't play um, the Borosaur Dragon because I uh, want to go to the uh, Rank 4. Uh, the rank 4 uh, OTK potential so I just play it if I have like broken hand or if I have a very good hand or I know that they have hand traps or they play a lot of hand traps I uh, just make up a loser first and uh, sometimes differ my combo um, I sometimes do this instead of a rank 4 if the rank 4 aren't really good against uh, the deck I I'm playing but this happened like only one time then uh, we play a lot of Xyz. We play two break swords. One is needed for your starter combo, and one often helps you to get uh, to break boards. And also, one is uh, the one how you make OTKs because you just need two level threes. And then, uh, yeah, then you, I will show it to you. Then you have those two. Uh, you will just make this, pop it, uh, pop something from the enemy. Yeah, and then you get your two PKs back. Then you just make the Raiders Knight, and then you overlay just. The XYZ dragon, and then you can OTK with that. Uh, yeah, pretty good both. A lot of people doesn't uh, don't expect this because they think uh, a lot of people cut it, and uh, yeah, this is just simply amazing. Other two rank fours for your uh, first turn board. I cut the um, C dragon, the rank three, three um, for the dweller because um, this is just for my locals. If you go through a bigger tournament, you can just play. Um, the sea dragon but uh, this is good again for example virtual worlds or decks that um, if they special summon you and you book their monster they can't really play so zodiac example um, and this is good against drytron uh, and in my locals there's a lot of uh, invoked shadows and stuff so this is very good against them and um, they can't really play against the dweller and you can shotgun it just in your sniper face because you have the dragoon and yeah <laughs> or in their uh, their sniper face then uh, we have the zeus uh, you don't have to play this card. I never made this card. Um, they scooped every time uh, before I made this card or I could just OTK otherwise. Uh, I still play it because um, it's sometimes a surprise factor and otherwise you can just transfer for example if you go um, if you have this and this and I don't know why the OTK doesn't go through. You can just make this on it. Um, yeah. <coughs> and then we have the Dragoon. So, side deck, it very depends on your uh, on your region and uh, the tournament you're playing. On bigger tournaments, m it might differ a bit, a little bit, but I play two Lincea and uh, three Drolls for yeah more hand traps. Drytron, I really, like I said, I'm really scared of Drytron, and this is for Virtual World and Shadow stuff, so um, yeah. Then one Pankratops, um, best one card, hand <laughs> side deck card, it's like every side deck plays it it's really amazing um, this is a card not a lot of people play i still like it the dark ruler no more because sometimes um, virtual world has like um, a kind of awkward board when you um, hand trap them once and you if you draw this as a six card they don't shotgun the vfd but the main reason is just again because of drytron um, and sometimes um, window and yeah, these are the only things I really cited in. Uh, yeah, then uh, we play a little bit spell trip removal. This is the only furthermore like spell trip removal I play because we have Phoenix and Unicorn. I um, yeah just play three Twin Twister because you often like to discard it. And this is a good card because I don't have Lightning Storms, otherwise I would play Lightning Storms um, right now. But uh, yeah, I would play Twin Twister just in the budget, budget vari variant. I mean, this deck is pretty budget when you take out the Zeus. So yeah. And then 3, three D Barrier. I wanted a card um, that oftentimes um, the hand traps again, this deck aren't really good. Um, I mean, a lot of people uh, now maining Ghost Bell or DD Crow or something, which is pretty good, I guess. But um, it doesn't stop you from combing. Um, but if they play, um, or if you have to play into Nibiru or something, uh, I want a card that says like skip one turn of the enemy. And for Drytron, uh, Drytron, the Virtual World deck for the Invoke deck, it's like you stop Synchros, Rituals, Fusions, um, and Pendulum. So and then they have to skip their turn, and afterwards you can just do your combo again or do a different route of the combo, and you have like lost nothing and you just okay them so um yeah 
that's the only reason I play uh, would play it. Um, if I would go to bigger tournaments, um, I would maybe play a little bit more spell trap removal because even though Drytron and Virtual World are the best decks right now, I guess, um, a lot of Eldritch is running around. So maybe cut like or differ the hand trap the Nibiru in the deck and uh, maybe cut those for spell trap removal or those. Um, but it, for me, it worked out fine. And if you have lightning storms, you don't have to like, don't even think about it because lightning storm is enough. Uh, yeah, <coughs> this is the deck. I hope you like it. Um, maybe if you have some more suggestions for the deck or um, different opinions, you can tell it in the comments down below. I would appreciate if you like this video because this boosts the, um, the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, I hope to see you again. See you later.